you were about to make so many calls for this open enrollment period. Let's take some of the pressure off you. Admins can create call scripts for leads and clients using custom tabs. We'll look at an example, then show you how to create your own, and finally show you how to use them. Let's look at an example I've already built, and then I'll show you how to build one. When you launch the call, you'll be brought into the lead or client file. This tab is a custom tab that I created as an AAP client script. This is a header row. It doesn't have space for an answer, so it reads more like a sentence. This is a custom field that does have space for an answer. And this is a custom field with a drop-down selection option. Let's see how we can build your own. Go to Settings. Coverage Types and Custom Data Fields. Edit. Hit Add Custom Tab. Name it. Let's name this one Lead AEP. We could show the tab on both the leads and the client's files, but we're going to make this one specific to leads rather than for both. Hit Add. Now let's start adding in the script. Let's first do a header. Hit Create Header. I'll put the variables in parentheses. Hit Add. I'll do one more header here. Now let's create a custom field. Will anyone else be on the policy? You can name the field simply while displaying all text. So the name is the field name, but the display is what will be shown on the leader the client file. And here I'll put agent instructions in parentheses and caps. Hit Add. Now let's create another custom field. But this time, we're going to change the type from text to a custom dropdown. So first, let's save this. And then we can create a custom dropdown. At the top here, hit Create Dropdown. Hit New Dropdown. Name it. Let's name this one Coverage Bundles. Create. Now click on the values, and then hit New Record. The name and the description can be different if you like. But for this, we can keep them the same. 
Interested in full bundle. Sort order one. Create. New record. Interested in life. Let's put second in the list of options. Now, look at the top here where you can go back to the Coverage Types and Data fields home. Interested, final expense, third, not interested, fourth. And let's do another custom drop down for best time of day. The values will be morning, afternoon, between 5 to 8 p.m. So again, you'll create the dropdown with the values. Then you'll go and create the custom field. and assign it the type of best time of day. Let's also add time of day preference to the call out section. Let's also edit this to make it a more assertive question. As always, editing is always preferable to deleting. Let's add a couple of more headers. Thank you so much for your time. And another one with agent instructions to create a task or fill out the information page for their quote. Let's rearrange this. And save that sort order. If we go into a lead, we now see that script. And we see the question that we called out here under important information. Currently, it's without the information. So let's add that in. Refresh the page. And here we see it on the right-hand side with the question and the answer. So let's do a pretend call. So we can show you how you or your agents will be filling these out. I'll be showing you information on linked records, but we'll put the instructional for that in the body of the lessons article. We'll go to the client script that I've created so you can see how to reference previously entered information while on the call. Hi. Hello, this is Danielle calling in regard to your insurance open enrollment. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. And how are, so as I'm asking the question, I'll scroll down to the linked records and ask about Steve and Sam, her husband and her son. Oh, they're great. Steve is going to be graduating from college with his master soon. Oh, so have there been any changes to your income? Yeah, I lost my job and insurance through my employer. I'm so sorry to hear that. Has it affected your income? Yeah. And are there any family changes that I should update for you? Well, probably my son is going to come off of my insurance, so he'll probably need insurance himself. Great. So let me verify that I still have the best contact information for you. So now, what I'm going to do as an agent is check on the right-hand side column for the main contact information. Is the best number to reach you still 702-919-6295? Well, yes. 
and I have your address as One Maple Place, Big Arkansas 91020. Any change there? Nope. But if there is a change, it's important as an agent, if I want to grab her email information, before I go to the information tab, I must save the work that I've already done on this tab. So I need to scroll down and save that update. Now I can go back into her information tab and enter in her email address and any other data that she's given me. Again, I always save my updates. I go back to the client script and I verify that I've completed that check. So how satisfied were you with the plan that we had chosen for this past year? She loved it. Do you have any health or savings goals that I should factor in while looking for your best 2021 plan? Not that I can think of. So what we can do is use these tags here to help bundle her. Oh, by the way, I see that you don't have dental through us. You can actually save money on your dental insurance if you bundle with this. So now I will mark her as interested in dental. Do you have any questions for me? Nope, you're amazing. I'll then inform her about the fact that I'll send the documents or quote in the client access portal that is double encrypted. We'll also be showing you highlights about the client access portal this week. Scroll down and save that update. Get creative with your call scripts so you can feel confident in providing your leads and clients the best experience. Hit us up with any questions on the Help app and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Radius Bob to see announcements of when new lessons are added and complimentary existing tutorials. Music